Hi guys, I'm Faith, and welcome to a very highly requested video. A lot of you have watched my trailers for my debut novel, Wild Souls, and you really enjoyed them, and you asked me, how do I make these trailers? So today I am going to take you through, step-by-step, step, my creative process of how I make trailers. If you haven't watched my trailers yet, I do have a whole playlist that's titled Book Trailers, so feel free to check them out and let me know what you think. And if you have not yet picked up a copy of Wild Souls, it is available on Amazon and it is awesome. In order to make a book trailer, what you're really doing is you're creating a video and you're layering words, music, and pictures or video clips. So how I like to start is, as a writer, I like to start with the words and build from there. So first I write the narration. When you write your narration, you will most likely do this as a voiceover. I like to do a voiceover and also have the words written on the screen so that way if anyone has trouble hearing, they could read the words from the screen. When you write your trailer, you want to use words that are dramatic and engaging and intriguing. Think about the most exciting moments in your book and use those moments as the premise of your trailer. You cannot include your entire plot in the trailer, so you're really just going to want to choose a couple of scenes or a theme that is the most intriguing and that you feel represents your book well. Okay, so now we are going to make a very short trailer together from scratch. So I'm going to make a trailer of a book that doesn't exist, but if you decide to write this book, feel free to use the trailer. Let's just keep it short and sweet and choose a very exciting moment in a novel would be something that I could get some really cool images of too. So I'm gonna say, how's this? A rising ballerina is kidnapped by a madman. So those are the words that we're gonna work off of. So now when we look up images, we're gonna look up images of a ballerina, of a kidnapping, and of a madman. And then we're going to have to find music. So for the ballerina, I'm thinking that we're gonna need some classical music, but for the kidnapped by a madman, we're gonna to have to find some scary music. Then we're gonna layer it all together. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's go on the computer and get started. So now that we have our words, we need to layer pictures on top of the words. Pictures or preferably video images with movement, those are more exciting than still pictures. Today we are going to get our images or we're gonna to try to find images that we like on Pexels, which is a totally free site for images and videos. So here, this is Pexels.com. They have free photos and videos. So like I said, we wanna look for a ballerina, ballerina dancing. So let's see what we can find here. They have a lot of stuff here that looks pretty good. I like this, it's dark and dramatic. So I'm gonna um, look free download. I got that right there. Now we have that one ready to go. Okay, so now we have ballerina, and then we say that she was kidnapped. So let's type in kidnapped, kidnapping, and see what we come up with here. Well, this looks scary. There's a few good ones here. What's this? Okay, well, that's a little kid, so that one go. This one's good, so I'm gonna download this. And then, this one's good too. So notice when, when after I download something on this site, it says that I can give a donation to the creator of the video. It's not required, it is free. However, I do like giving donations as an artist myself. You know, we work hard at our passion and our creativity, and 
No, it's nice to get some recognition for that, especially when that recognition will help us pay our bills. So if you do use this site frequently, it would be, you don't have to, but it would be nice to donate to some of the artists that you're using their work. Okay, so now I have these three images that I think will work really well for this trailer. Next, we have to find music. So now we have the words, we have the images, and now we need the music. So as I said before, for the ballerina part of the video, I want to have some classical music. And then after she gets kidnapped, I want the classical music to fade and it becomes scary and dramatic music. So let's see what we can find for free. So now I am in YouTube studio. Um, all YouTubers have access to this. And I am going to go down into the audio library. So now you can search and I am going to search for genre classical. And let's see what we find. Something bright. We want to start with something bright because we're saying a rising star. So let's see snowfall butterflies. Okay, this works. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this since this trailer is for a book that doesn't exist. This is just for demonstration purposes. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So let's just choose one of these. I'm such a perfectionist, I'm being too fussy. Okay, swans in flight. I like this one. We're gonna do swans in flight. Okay. Okay, so now she gets kidnapped by a madman. So now we need to find, go into genre. Actually, I don't need genre. Well, cinematic. Cinematic is a good genre to choose if you wanna pick something that's going to look work well on the screen. So let's choose cinematic. And then we can go into mood, dark. What's this one? Dead forest. This could work. This is really creepy. Try a couple more just to see what's on here. This one's good too. Honestly, any of these would probably work. I'm not a fan of that one. So I think I'm just gonna go with the first one, the dead forest. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one, Black Mass. Okay. Okay, so now we're up to the final step, which is putting it all together in video editing software. I'm going to show you on the screen exactly how I'm going to put it together. I am using Premiere Pro. That's just a personal preference. This is the video editing software that I prefer. This can also be done on other video editing software as well. Are in Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I put the three video clips and the two songs that we chose, I brought them into the program. So I'm going to start with the video of the ballerina. So let's move that over here into our timeline. Oh, and I wanna, as I explained before, I like to layer on top of the narration so that way I know the timing of everything. So right now I am going to go ahead and I am going to do the voiceover. You can do a voiceover in Premiere Pro by hitting this little microphone right here. So I'm going to hit the microphone and I am going to say the narration that we chose. So I am going to hit the microphone right here. A rising ballerina gets kidnapped by a madman. Okay. 
So now, as you can see, here is my voice and here is the video clip. So the video clip is much longer than what I had to say. So this image should only be during the rising ballerina part that I said. So see, so that is where it ends. So I'm going to cut the video right there and I am going to delete the rest of it. Next we have gets kidnapped by a madman. So here we'll use this image next with the duct tape over the mouth and we'll just take the, drag the video over and that's gonna just be during the gets kidnapped. Okay, so then we cut that there and delete the rest of it. And then here, this is the by a madman part because this is the part that my computer's freezing a little bit. Okay, so drag video. Let me cut it at the end there. Okay. Now, let me see, I have to make this a little smaller here because of, it doesn't fit quite right. So I'm just making it fit to the screen. This one too needs to be made a little smaller. Okay. So now we layered the voiceover and we layered the images. So let's see how it turned out so far. Okay, pretty good. So now we have to add the music. So remember we're gonna do the swan in flight Let's pick the part of the song. This part's pretty good. I'm gonna pick a clip of the song and I'm going to drag that here. And remember that should only be for that part. Okay, then we gotta add the creepy music for the gets kidnapped part. I'd like to overlap the classical music with the scary music just for that transition. So you'll see here I actually overlapped them. video so stay tuned and watch what we created just now in the past 10 minutes. A rising ballerina gets kidnapped by a man. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and informative for you. Please comment down below if you have any questions. If you have any other requests for videos, please comment down below. Subscribe to my channel to follow me on my journey as I continue to self-publish and market my book. I'm going to be very transparent with you as I go through this process because of it is a huge learning curve and I am learning so much and I would love to share all of that knowledge with you.